Hello everyone, this is Jeff Twardowski with UB Successful. In this video, I'll show you how to install and configure HCLverse on an Android device. We make a few assumptions. You are using an Android device, and your company has the HCL Traveler software loaded on a Domino server. You have the URL to the Domino Traveler server, and an internet user ID and password to the Domino server. Let's get started. First, we install the HCL verse on the Android device. Start by going to the Google Play Store. Search for HCL verse. We want the one here at the top. Select install. That's all there is to installing the HCL verse on the Android device. Let's get the HCL verse software configured. Select open. Accept the licensing agreement. Select accept. In this configuration, I'm going to use my company's Domino server, which I have Traveler loaded on. Select my company server. Enter in the server URL. Your Domino administrator will provide this URL to you. Domino administrators, you will find that this will be an easier process if your internal URL matches your external URL. An example, mailserver.example.com. Select Next. Sometimes a security alert dialog box will display. Here's an example of how it will look. Notify your Domino administrator and click Yes to continue. Enter your user ID and password. Select Login. The Android Verse client is contacting the Domino server. What features would you like to use? I recommend that a user synchronizes everything. While you may not use a to-do list today, you may decide to use it in the future. Deselecting it now would require going back into the configuration and activating this feature in the future. If you're not using this feature, then synchronizing nothing doesn't take up much overhead. Select Next. Lastly, we have to provide HCL Verse with the appropriate Android permissions. These would include access to the calendar, device storage, contacts. Select Got It. HCL Verse access to your contacts. Select Allowed. This is the main screen in the HCL Verse. Later, we will identify shortcuts to the individual applications. Select the three dots in the upper right hand corner, then select Settings. Select Application Specific Settings. Look at all the settings we can customize for each individual. One feature I like is the ability to activate the out of office service from within Verse. Select Remove Mail Older Than Five Days. If the user has the space and does a decent job of managing their inbox, consider changing this setting to Show All. Select Truncate Mail. This setting can minimize the size of the email coming to your Android device. The two items to consider are how much does your data plan support and do you have enough memory on your device? Select Signature. Here's where we can put all those great details that are at the end of every email. The user's name, phone number, the company name. It can go on and on. Just remember that the larger it is, the more your data plan it will utilize. Show remote images is set to always ask. While this setting can be changed due to potential security risks, we recommend you leave it alone. The system will place a show image button on emails that have additional information to display. Users may want to customize how much of their calendars will be on their Android device. Select show past events. How far back does the user need to see their calendar? I always thought one week was a little short. However, if you've had your calendar on Domino for the last 20 years, have never cleaned it up, 
Collecting Show All may use up a lot of space. Collect Show Upcoming Events. Depending upon how you function, this may be one that needs to be adjusted. Assuming you check your business calendar before scheduling personal appointments, you may need to see a year out to be able to schedule a dental appointment. Show your local calendar will allow you to see your phone calendars within the Verse Calendar app. The first time selected will prompt for permissions to the local calendars. Export Verse Contacts will take all the notes contacts and copy them to the device. This will allow other Android applications to have access to the contact list. To do settings. I like to change this sync incomplete only so I can see both my completed and incompleted tasks. Other to-do preferences are where notifications are managed. Control vibrations, sounds, when a to-do task has a notification associated with it. If you are a multicultural organization, there are settings on how your app will respond in those situations. Return to our main settings screen. Select Auto Sync. These settings can be changed if needed. This default Auto Sync will allow the server to send an SMS type message to your device so it knows to go sync with the server and get updates. This is more effective than having the synchronization execute every 5, 10, 15 minutes. However, there are times, such as international travel, that having synchronization happen less often or manually could enhance cost savings. If there is ever an issue with the HCL verse, your support staff may ask you to turn on logging and gather additional information. Select Logging. Quickly look at the settings. Special items on the screen include the top Enable Logging. The application will need to be restarted for logging to take effect. While we've used this a time or two, your support staff can walk you through these settings when needed. Return to your Android main screen. Let's add some shortcuts to individual applications. While this is not required, it may make using the application easier. They are Mail, Calendar, To-Dos, Actions, and People. Go to your application list and find Mail. Perform a long hold till the icon moves, then drag it to its new location. Let's repeat this with the other icons. Here is the calendar. Here are the people. Notice that I clicked Add to Home. It was placed on the last home screen. Let's just move it to the main screen. Let's add actions. Let's add the to do's. Lastly, let's add Verse. This icon will take you back to the main screen. Select Mail. The application will provide us with tips to help utilize the application more effectively. The main menu has three bars in the upper left-hand corner. Notice we have our typical folder, Inbox, Draft, Outbox, Trash. We also have one more called Folders. These are the folders we have in our mail file. Notice that the file folders on the left are white in the center. This is telling us that the folder is not synced with the Domino's server. So how do we get the folder to sync? Select the folder, select Subscribe. Notice the folder is now blue in the center. You will have to do this with all the folders you want to synchronize with your Android device. Let's compose a quick email. Select the plus sign. This is our standard email form. Notice the signature automatically got brought in. To send the email, 
click the arrow in the upper right hand corner. To discard the email, select the back button at the bottom. Select yes. Show remote images and an email. First make sure this is not a phishing style email because getting the images may trigger more dangerous attacks. I know this is not a phishing email, so I can select show remote images. We now have the images that I expected to see. Let's send a reply to the library by clicking the left arrow in the lower right hand corner. Notice to prevent an email storm, the application defaults to just a reply. If we need to do a reply to all or forward, then go to the upper left hand corner, select reply and get the options for reply to all or forward. Let's look at our calendar app. This is the agenda view. It only shows what's on the schedule. We can change the view by clicking agenda in the upper left hand corner and selecting day, week, or month. This is the day view. This is the week view. We can see everything happening the entire week. This is the month view. Here we can see everything that's happening the entire month. Let's go back to the agenda view. I like the agenda view because it shows what's coming up while skipping the empty days. In the upper right hand corner, the second icon will return us to today. That's on all the views, so if you move off of what is today's information, you can always come back. The first icon in the upper right hand corner is how we schedule our meetings and appointments. Select the icon. Notice the event type is meeting. We can play fill in the blank on this form just like we would in our HCL Notes client. What's the subject of the meeting? The location of the meeting? Start and end times? We can put a description or possibly an agenda. Who is required in the meeting? Who's optional? Who we just want to keep in the loop? We can even repeat the meeting. Clicking on the three dots in the upper right hand corner allows us to look up attendees from either our local address book or the server address book. Simply start typing in a user's name to perform the lookup. Let's change the event type from meeting to appointment. Notice the form changed, eliminating the entries for attendees. Saving this will go on our Domino calendar as an appointment. Let's change the event type to an all day event. This is a great way to mark your calendar for conferences and vacations. All the repeats work the same. Here we can set it to daily, weekly, monthly by date, monthly by day, and yearly. We can change the event to anniversary and add information such as team birthdays, or special days that we have to remember. If we change the type to reminder, we can utilize this to remind us to perform a specific task in the future. Notice it has both a date and time feature. We simply have to set the alarm for our notifications. Select the to-do icons. Here are all my to-dos, both pending and completed. We can examine them based on due dates, overdue dates, past due dates, priorities, however we want to categorize them. I selected my read category. I can see the number of entries in this category by inspecting the number in the little blue box. My to-do is read 13 open source backup solutions. To create a to-do, select the plus sign icon. What do we want to call this task? Does it have a due date? Does it have a start date? Do we want to set a priority? Lists are just like categories. We can select one or more. We can also add a description. A lot of detail can go into a to-do entry. Select the check mark icon to save. The second plus sign icon that looks like a drawer. This allows us to create a list. 
Again, remember, lists and categories are the same. Some examples of mine include to buy, for things I need to buy, to read, things I need to read, and at home, things I have to do at home. Fill in the new list name and select OK. Let's create a quick example of a to-do. Paint the barn. Let's set the priority to high. Let's add the first step, buy paint. Select the check mark icon to save the to-do. When selected, it tells us precisely what we need to do, buy paint. If we need to edit the entry, select the pencil icon. Let's change the category to at home. Select the check mark to save. Notice this is now in the list or category at home. Finally, my favorite program, People. The reason this is one of my favorite apps is before social media, your address book was the way to keep in touch with everyone in your network. So it was the ultimate of importance. What happens if your phone dies or gets lost? The contacts are synchronized back to your HCL Notes client. In fact, the contacts are synchronized across all your devices. Here are my contacts information. Say I got a second phone number. I can go to my HCL Notes client and edit it there and wait for it to sync. Or I can edit it in here. Select the pencil icon to edit the entry. Let's add the phone number. The phone number I entered is an old information number for my area. Don't try to call it, you'll simply get information. Select the check mark at the top. The next time the application synchronizes, this change will go up to the Domino server and ultimately to my HCL Notes address book. You can see the advantages of having all my contacts synchronized to all my devices. Make a new entry. Select the plus sign in the lower right hand corner. Play fill in the blanks. Select the check mark to save it. If you make a mistake, select the back and it will ask you to discard. My address book is used in notes on my phone, on my tablet, and on my laptop, utilizing synchronization. I don't have to worry about making updates to a dozen different places. The default sort is by first name. We can change the sort to last name, perform this again, it'll change the names back to first name. Show these contacts on a device, can be changed so you can use this with other Android applications. Here's settings again. Notice every time you hit a setting, it returns you the same screen. Contacts customization is located near the bottom. Show the device contacts in our people application. To synchronize our contacts with our mobile device or iNotes, select Open, Replication and Sync, Enable Synchronize Contacts, put a check mark there. The next time a replication takes effect, your contacts will move up to your mail file on the Domino server, which will allow your mobile devices or iNotes to utilize your address book. Once you've made this checkbox, just double check that your replication is scheduled to run. If you see disabled, then that means it's already scheduled. And go see the schedule. Again, see the check marks. That means I'm good to go. Some people like to use application widgets on their screen. 
It allows them to see details in the application without having to open them. Perform a long press on an empty space in the background. Select Widgets. Scroll till you find the HCL Verse. Select HCL Verse. Notice there are four widgets we can put on our desktop to improve productivity. Calendar, Mail, To-Dos, and Verse Today. Let's drag the Verse Today to our Android home screen. We can resize the widget. The Today widget displays upcoming meetings, unread email counts, and actions. This next widget shows emails. We can select which view we want to see. I chose my inbox. You can use as many widgets as you like. Keep in mind that each widget is using system resources. If you load too many widgets, it could impact your performance. We've loaded and configured HCL Verse. Take some time and explore some of the features we didn't cover in this video.